I have the 100 watt Phoenix mini power station with the 21 watt E-Flex portable solar panel. So how this works is I'm going to go ahead and buy the product, then I'm gonna take it up in a backpack way back in the mountains and test it out. Afterwards, I'm gonna do a recap Go to rednowg.com. Come down here to products, then scroll all the way over to Renog gear. So Renog has a lot of different portable chargers, power stations, solar panels, and some other uh, more specific tech, flashlights, speakers, other cool stuff. Right here, the Phoenix, the 100 watt Phoenix mini power station and the 21 E-Flex portable solar panel. So let's go ahead and get this added to cart. Let's check out. So I went ahead and reached out to Renogy and got a discount code. So if you click discount right here, uh, before you check out, you can go ahead and enter solar 10 and apply that discount and that's going to give you 10 percent off of your purchases just got the gear in the mail we got the solar panel inverter i'm gonna go ahead just throw it in my pack as is still in the box so i'm not gonna charge it i'm not gonna open the box i'm not gonna do anything right now So we've made it like a hundred feet and there's a moose. <laughs> Just gonna open these up. That's sick. Comes in a little case. go ahead and try to charge the Phoenix 100 off of the 21 uh, watt solar panel and uh, we're gonna go for a little hike and we'll be back in like a couple hours we're gonna see what what it can do plug your phone right into this and charge it so you have two outputs. You have the output, plug it into the input here. It's blinking. It's blinking. We oh, can yeah. see here. We got power. We got electricity from the sun. So just got back from a hike, left the panel out um, on a rock in a sunny spot. Got my own uh, iPhone charger cable, which on the back of this solar panel, you have two ports. So you don't necessarily need the Phoenix um, inverter in order to charge anything. It's just having the, I guess, convenience of having power at night or maybe if the sun's not out. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. There you go. Plugged it in and immediately, uh, you can see it, iPhone starts to turn on. Leave it on here for a couple hours and see, um, you know, if I can really charge my phone. Hiking out on Sunday morning, um, left my GoPro on all night, drained both my batteries, messing around with it yesterday, so. Pulled this out of my pack, have the inverter, um, got it charged up to three bars, um, which will probably charge the GoPro um, probably three or four times. 
and I just have it connected right here with the cable all the way to it. Um, footage on the way. Um, let's go over the details for each of the products, um, starting with the solar panel. So we can take a look here, USB-A to micro. You'll also have uh, two carabiners, which is useful for maybe um, attaching or laying out this um, solar panel on a backpack or a tent or um, you know in a car or anything like that. And then you'll have the solar panel itself. It's, it's in its own case, has this nice little snap. You can open it up. You have some basic instructions and this actually velcros out so that you can get the solar panel at, at the right angle to um, utilize as much sunlight as possible. So the Phoenix 100 has this nice Velcro case, which is really handy. And a again, a USB-A to USB-C and a USB-A to a micro USB. So you have your USB-C, you have your USB-A, and you have your input, which is a micro USB power switch and the um, AC output for a normal um, plug, maybe a laptop. Back to the user manual. Um, if you look at the specifications here, the max output is five volts at 4.2 amps at 21 watts. So keep that in mind when we talk about the um, Phoenix uh, here in a second. So one thing that I didn't notice is that the micro USB says input on it. So it's specifically labeled. But when you look at the user manual, it says the USB-C is an input or an output. Because if we go ahead and look at the max input ratings, which is right here, input ratings, let's go to the max, five volts at five amps. We're, we're really a little undersized on the solar panel to the battery, but I guess that might be a safety factor there. A um, Couple other things to go over. Uh, it does tell you the indicator lights. Turn it on, you can see right there, it's got one light on there. Um, one light is, you know, 20 to 1% and it, so forth up to six lights, which will indicate that the battery is at 180 to 100% charge. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the battery capacity of the Phoenix 100. One of the coolest features of the Phoenix 100 is as an AC output where you could plug in your laptop. So if we take a Surface Pro or say a MacBook Pro, and we look at the battery capacity, you are at about five to 6,000 milliamp hours. Now the Phoenix 100 is a 27,000 milliamp hour battery, so you'd probably charge your laptop up five times off of the Phoenix 100. Um, if we take a look at the iPhone 11 or the Samsung S10, we're at three to 4,000 milliamp hours, so we're getting you know up there with six plus charges. If we take a look at, say, a drone battery, if you're looking at a smaller size drone, you're probably at 1,500 milliamp hours. If you're looking at a larger drone, you're probably uh, upwards of 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So you can charge that drone again, you know, six plus times. And then last uh, comparison here is, say, a GoPro. So the GoPro battery has about 1,200 milliamp hours. Um, so you can charge your GoPro 20 plus times um, off of that battery, which I think is extremely useful if you're doing a lot of shots and specifically time-lapse shots. Because you could plug your GoPro into the panel or into the Phoenix 100 and set up your um, time-lapse and not be worried about swapping out batteries or having it die during the shoot and not getting the uh, full video that you wanted to. I have purchased um, small battery banks before and kept them in my backpack. Say I'm working, I'm on a roof installing a solar panel and uh, uh, my, my phone dies. It's nice to have that where you can plug in your phone and get an extra you know, 20% or something out of it to be able to call your wife and let her know you're on your way home or wh whatever, send out a text message, um, contact a client. It, it's extremely useful. Um, having something that's this size, it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit heavy, but it's not, it's not that, it's not too bad that I wouldn't carry it in my backpack, let alone track it 20 miles uh, all around the Uintas um, to have storage with me. And you know, if you're able to take your phone, your laptop, your GoPro, your drone, etc., 
and be able to charge all of those devices at least one time, if not all of them twice, um, with the solar panel and with the Phoenix 100, you can go on a long weekend or a, a week long trip and you don't have to worry about bringing all these spare expensive batteries for all of your devices. You can use the batteries you have and keep them all charged. Um, if you do go to their website, you can either click my affiliate link below or you can use the promo code SOLAR10 and that will help you get probably an additional 10% off on almost anything on the website. That link does support me and helps me make more videos and review more content. So if you do use that link, I very much appreciate that. Any information or inquiries, please comment below or contact me personally. Uh, my Instagram is brandon.solar and I spell my name with two A's. So B-R-A-N-D-A-N dot solar. Feel free to message me. I will get in contact with you and help you with any questions. Thank you.